You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, GH fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt. And as you likely already know, Steve Burton is coming back to General Hospital. And that means Jason Morgan is back from the dead. But is his return about to send his twin Drew Kane packing? There are a couple of red flags that hint it could happen. But before we dig in, if you haven't clicked subscribe already, we would love it if you do that. It really helps the channel a lot. All right. Now, let's talk about this twin twist and whether it's going to work this time like it did last time. Because if it does, that's bad news for somebody. I just want to remind you real quick. The last time Jason came back was when Steve Burton returned from the dead. That was when Billy Miller was playing Drew Kane. This was back in 2017 when Burton came back. He had, so Billy Miller was playing Drew, but Drew had originally been presented to us as Jason Morgan back from the dead and Carly DNA tested him and found out he definitely was Jason because of the DNA match. And then they did this big retcon later to undo it all. What was so weird about the fact that then they later tried to make it out, even making him out as Jason and then as Jason's twin, there's a height difference, there's a decade of age difference, and there's other glaring issues. But when Burton decided to come back to GH after he'd been over on YNR, they shifted Billy Miller over to being Jason's twin, Drew, whom they had just invented retroactively. But from the moment Burton was back, it definitely looked like Billy Miller's fate was sealed to either get less storyline or to be pushed out. And sadly, after his GH exit, Billy Miller did a couple of other shows and then recently he took his own life after struggling with bipolar depression for many years as his mother confirmed. So now we have a different Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson. He's of an age with Steve Barton and Cameron and Steve are much more believable physically and age wise as twins. But is there room enough in Port Charles for two quarter main twins? Maybe not. I mean, for one thing, Drew is with a woman that Jason said, I love you and married before he died. Remember when he had got caught under all that tunnel rubble, he had just married Carly not that long before, a few months before, I think at the most, but it turned out that was invalid because Sonny turned up alive on their wedding night just before they consummated what turned out to be a very loved up heartfelt union. And then Jason was kind of low key dating Britt Westbourne before he died. And then she died not too long after that, but now we're getting Jason back. So how he survived the tunnel cave-in has not been mentioned yet, but that death seemed rigged to be undone from the moment we saw it. I mean, we never saw a corpse. His body wasn't found, nothing like that. So he's certainly been somewhere since 2021, but who knows where? Well, I have a few ideas. So we do know that Jason is back soon and he should make a beeline for Carly once he knows she and Sonny are divorced. Unless, of course, it's Carly who somehow finds Jason alive and well, and then he won't even to have to have to go looking for her. And I think that would be pretty darn interesting. Do you guys remember how he came back from the dead before? So he was being kept in this asylum place under the name Patient Six. He'd been branded this real danger. He was in this weird mask. And it was Ava Jerome who saw him there. And then he came back to Port Charles with a big bang or really a crash. Remember, he dropped down through a skylight, broken glass all over into the Metro Court restaurant. Uh, he did that because he was intent on saving Sam McCall. And Sonny broke the news to Carly that the real Jason, not his twin, fake Jason Drew, was back to them. This time, I suspect the reveal might be tied to Carly and possibly also to Sam because they were both involved in that little promo that revealed his return. And of course, both Carly and Sam are currently involved with Drew, but only one of them in a romantic way. Carly is dating Drew, but they're not engaged or married or anything, but it's serious. They've said, I love you. And Sam is co-parenting with Drew, but they are having a hard go of it lately. Plus, there's big life events that could possibly rip Carly and Drew apart. First is the death of her mother, Bobby Spencer. 
This absolutely devastated Carly. And then the reveal came that Nina ratted her out to the SEC. And that salted a very fresh wound because that double dose of bad news came just a couple of hours apart. And that news affected Drew, too, who was already behaving badly with Sam. Then he basically threatened Nina, implied that he would like to engage in physical violence upon her person. I mean, since coming home from Pentonville... After barely surviving a beating, Drew has kind of been a hotbed of anger and outbursts, understandably, but he's been making demands on Sam and Scout and being kind of bossy in a way that nobody much likes right now. But it's not just Drew's bad attitude that has me wondering if he'll leave now that Jason Morgan is back. It's the fact that Cameron Matheson has a big new contract with Great American Media to do a bunch of content. And that news broke just before Thanksgiving, leading many fans to wonder if he'd leave GH to focus on all those movies and shows that he was under contract to make. So Cameron Matheson addressed the rumors of his exit, saying, I'm definitely not leaving and said I'm having the best time over on GH. Well, I mean, that's nicely said, but it's really not up to Cameron Matheson. So first of all, GH could have asked him just to address the rumors. Maybe they were discussing whether he'd leave or not, but they asked him to shut it down. At end of the day, even though he's got a contract at GH, which, by the way, he never revealed how long of a contract he signed, that doesn't mean that GH can't fire him. Soaps can still fire actors mid-contract if the storyline doesn't need them there anymore. So that could be what we're looking at. They, they've done that more than once in recent years with other actors and actresses. So Burton was filming at Days of Our Lives up until December, and then he revealed that he'd wrapped filming that month. Then a few weeks later, we had the news he was back to GH. So that means GH was probably already in talks with Steve Burton long before his contract ended over at Days because that kind of stuff, contractual stuff, usually takes months to hammer out. That means Cameron Matheson might not have known that Steve Burton was coming back when he made those statements, any of that. And whenever they cast a big fish with a big paycheck, they usually let people go. Remember, Roger Howarth was just fired mid-contract, so that could have helped pay for Steve Burton's return. A lot of people were wondering what that Rojo money was going to go to cover, and now it looks like maybe in Steve Burton's wallet. So uh, with Cameron Matheson having a lot of work elsewhere, it kind of begs the question of whether GH will write him out too, just like they did the last Drew Billy Miller when Steve Burton came back the last time. It's almost like the twins cannot exist in Port Charles at the same time. And with overlapping love interests, that definitely makes it complicated for them both to be around. So with Sam and Carly, both in the new promo with Jason, you know, the actors, it opens up all sorts of possibilities. Kelly Monaco has said before she thought Jason and Sam were in game, but Carly and Jason had also just declared their love and said they loved each other for years, but kept it under wraps. That was just before Sonny's return. So we will have to wait and see whose sheets Jason might be war warming up and how this impacts Drew. But I still suspect we'll only have one of the two quarter main twins with us when the dust settles. So what do you think? Drop your comments below and please click subscribe if you're not following us already. It really helps the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, we are here every single day talking General Hospital. And this has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>